Hey there, good looking. Are you the one Lady Arabelle promised to send me? I could use the help. I'm neck deep in a secret mission that involves a beautiful missing woman. It's a mystery straight out of an Investigator Veil vale novel. Ah, that part comes later. The darling Valesia has disappeared. So, that takes precedence. I was hired by Lady Arabelle to pick up some medallions from Valesia. But when I got to her workshop, I found the place ransacked, and she was gone. People in my line of work tend to acquire various contracts. I put the word out and finally got one of mine to bite. I'm off to meet up with Taraska now. So, want to help me find Valesia and talk to my contact? You'll be paid, naturally. Here's the location where my contact Taraska wants to meet. I hired a wagon to take us there. Hope you don't mind being in close quarters for a bit, my good-looking friend. Hop in, and we'll be on our way. Valesia crafted them from a master medallion. Lady Arabelle says they're crucial to the success of our mission, but I stopped listening when I realized they weren't worth any gold. They're invitations of some sort, but she didn't tell me what for. Not really. My first job for Lady Arabelle was to track down the master medallion, the template used to make the others. I don't know the finer details, or care to. I was supposed to get the medallions from Valesia, but they were missing too. I asked the same thing. Lady Arabelle said, and I quote, Don't be foolish, dear. She really knows how to wound with her words. It has something to do with Valesia's enchantments. They permit the wearers to enter a protected location. Valesia is a gorgeous young wizard making a name for herself in the Mages Guild. I've only met her twice, but <laughs> she's wild for me. She probably stays up every night dreaming of this handsome face. I have that effect on people, you know. Exactly? First at one of those stuffy Society of the Steadfast events that Lady Arabelle forced me to attend. And then I saw her again after I recovered the Master Medallion and delivered it to her workshop. All that matters is that we find her. Some philanthropic organization that Lady Arabelle works for. They provide aid to those displaced or wounded by the ongoing war in Cyrodiil, among other charitable works. Now, can we go find Valesia, please? Taraska, you're looking well, yo cat. To say that you're gone. You haven't changed a bit. Friend, go ahead and speak with him. Ha, Jakarn was wise to bring another. He will surely use you as an excuse to weasel out of the gold he owes this one. Taraska is glad to have someone to speak with other than that smooth skin. This one has information for you about his friend. Taraska's associates learned of a group transporting a high elf prisoner. While following them, this one realized the group was the Ascendant Order. Ah, oh, you have not heard of them. They are a group that opposes the Three Banners' war. Their methods of protest are usually non-violent, so this one finds it odd that they would be associated with a kidnapping. Ah, but this is not Taraska's affair. Inside there, Taraska followed long enough to watch them disappear through an opening covered by vines. They did not come back out. This one left something there to show you the way. Taraska left a lantern at the entrance where this one saw the Ascendant Order take Jakarn's friend. You cannot miss it. Be sure not to let Jakarn die. He owes Taraska a great deal of gold, and this one intends to collect at some point. Uh, the less Taraska talks about that, the better. 
This one has known Jakarn a long time and has suffered his flippant attitude from the beginning. He is a thief with a silver tongue and a charming smile. There is no combination that is more obnoxious. <laughs> Tarazke is no hero. Jakarn asked for information, and this one has provided. And now, that unclawed idiot owes Taraska even more. Thanks for talking to Taraska. He's as cranky as ever. Anyway, that prisoner he mentioned must be the lovely Valesia. We need to rescue her. Come on, let's get inside and find Valesia and her kidnappers. I should have expected that. I ran into them during my first job for Lady Arabelle. They got their hands on the Master Medallion before I stole it back. Makes sense they'd go after the others. But why take Valesia? That's not their style. Theories aren't part of my repertoire. But I can smell trouble when it's brewing. The Ascendant Order is planning something big. And I don't like it. Come on, let's find Valesia. More rescuing, less speculating. The Ascendant Order must have a hideout in here somewhere. Taraska said he left a lantern at the entrance, right? Let's look around for any signs of Alessia. Could be anything, really. Just keep your eyes open, and deal with anything that wants to stab, burn, or eat us. Remember, Taraska said he left a lantern by a cave opening covered in vines. Valesia's robes. She always did look great in that color. Come on, we must be close. Looks like there was a scuffle here. Smaller footprints could be Valesia's. Ascendant champion, huh? I don't like the sound of that.
Look, that must be Taraska's lantern. I think we found our entrance. Valesia must be inside here. Let's go. Valesia, your dashing hero is here to rescue you. Valesia, this way. Don't worry, Valesia. Your hero has arrived. I didn't think anyone would find me in here. Least of all, Jacan, but I am thankful to you both. The invitation medallions. Jacan was supposed to pick them up for Lady Arabelle, but the Ascendant Order stole them. We have to get them back. I just finished the invitation medallions for Lady Arabelle when the Ascendant Order burst into my workshop. They kidnapped me, took the medallions, tied me up, and left me here. They never even asked any questions. I, I don't understand it. I don't know for sure, but the group split up when we arrived. A few dragged me in here while the others went off deeper into the cave. They must have taken the medallions that way. There are five medallions total. Please, you must find them. Give me a moment, and I'll help you look for the medallions. It's extremely important that we get them back. Those Ascendant Order thugs must have taken them further into the cave. I'm not really supposed to say. I'd rather let Lady Arabelle give you the details. What I can tell you is that the medallions are invitations. I enchanted them to allow the wearer's entry to a secret location at Lady Arabelle's request. No. They barely acknowledged my presence, despite the fact that they kidnapped me, and believe me, I was her assistant. I don't know how they found out about the medallions in the first place, but their ascendant champions seemed very well informed. Just that she was clearly in charge of this operation. All of the so-called knights that manhandled me acquiesced to her every command. She went off deeper into the cave with the group that I presume took the medallions. We met a couple of times. He wouldn't have been memorable at all if he had not been so determined to get my attention. His advances were harmless, of course, but quite persistent. Still, I'm not sad to see him. I am grateful for the rescue. Does he now? I'm not surprised. Jakan is the kind of person who thinks everyone is enchanted by every breath he takes. And I'm sure some are. I'm just not one of them. He's amusing, at least. Just shy of insufferable. There you are, good-looking. Did you find the medallions? Let Valesia know. Ugh, I can't wait to get out of this place. The Ascendant Order has a lot to answer for. Please, tell me you found the medallions. Let me see. There's that Ascendant Champion again. Lady Arabelle will want to hear about this. But I know this place, Saraloth Grotto. It's in Vardenfell, but they neglected to say exactly where inside the grotto they took the medallions. Hmm. I think I have something that may help with that. Here, take this shell. It's not just a shell. I enchanted it with the same magic I used on the medallions. If you focus on the shell, the medallions will glow for a short time. Here, I'll mark the grotto on your map. And the boats mentioned in the scroll should be nearby. <laughs> 